Alright, one of students sent these questions to me and asked me to help uh, him or her. Alright, so the question says, the diagram below actually show a pole with a length of P meter is tied to the flat pole with a height of 4 meter. So at first, we kind of need to know like the length of the flat here uh, should be 4. So I kind of know uh, 4 meter will be here. Alright. And then since this one gives us the height, so I'll just assume here will be 90 degree. Alright, and then they ask us to express each of the following in terms of P. So basically it can uh first A they ask about sine 2x and B they ask about cos 90 minus x over 2. Alright, A should be quite easy, but over here I kind of need to solve about the uh sine first. I mean the triangle. So if this is x, this is p, this is 4. I can easily get my sine x and cos x. So sine is what? Sine is basically um opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 4 over p. So if I want to get a cos x here, okay, cos, we need to find the adjacent. So we will use the Pythagoras. Pythagoras tell me what? This is hypotenuse, right? In order to find the adjacent here. So it's just p squared minus 4 square and I square it. So square it off p squared minus 4 square. Alright, this is Pythagoras. Uh, if you have no idea how to get this, you kind of need to go check out uh, how to solve the Pythagoras. Bas basically, both of this square plus together will get this square. So it's about the fo formula of a square plus b square equals c square. Alright, solve it, you will get this one. So cos is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's square root p square minus 16. Your 4 square is 16 over p. Alright, then a they ask about um, sine 2x. So I know sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x. So therefore, it's very simple. I just insert my sine x, 4 over p, and then I insert my cos x, square root p square minus 16 over p. Alright, then I will just like simplify this one. Should be 8, 2 times 4 is 8, right? 8 square root p square minus 16 over p square. P times P, I get P square. Alright, it's quite simple. Okay, the difficult one will be part B. It's not like very difficult, but it will be just slightly different. So if I want to find the B is about cos 90 theta minus x over 2. Alright, so what I want to do now is um in order to solve this one, right? Because I have two options here. First option is I just kind of divide them. Is uh, make it then become cos 45 minus half angle, half x. Or I can let a become, let's say I can let a equals to 90 minus x. Then I will straight away get the half angle here, become cos a over 2. At the same time, we know this half angle, isn't it? Or we can call it half a. Both are the same here. Alright, so I, I will suggest the second method because it's a lot easier. Okay, but when you want to do second method, right, um, you kind of need to know where exactly the angle A here. Okay, because we know A is 90 minus X, right? Alright, so we know 90 minus X is basically this angle because you see, uh, this angle is 180, isn't it, all together. 180 minus 90 degree, we left a 90 degree. So 90 degree we minus this x, so this angle itself is 90 minus x. Alright, if this is A, so the cos half angle formula tell me what? So the formula say, cos A, I mean cos half A, or A over 2 is the same, right? Will equal to square root of cos A plus 1 over 2. Right, but right now we don't have the cos a. Just now we only have cos x, isn't it? So I want to find what is cos a here. So if I refer back to here, if this is angle a, so cos a will be adjacent, which is 4, over hypotenuse, which is p. So my cos a itself is 4 over p. So I can just substitute this one into here. So this one cos a is 4 over p plus 1 over 2. Alright, so if I want to solve this one, I will kind of need to make them have the same denominator. So this one is 1, right? 1 I can change 1, I can change into p over p. Your p divided by p is 1. So this is 4 plus p over p divided by 2. 
So I know both of these can multiply because they are divided here. So it's just 4 plus p over 2p. Because they want me to leave my answer in terms of p, isn't it? And then what is my a? My a is basically is the 90 minus x over 2. Yeah, I just sub my a back into the 90 minus x over 2. This is exactly the part 2 question, isn't it? So it goes to this one. Alright, so for this kind of question, right, when you do that time, you must be very careful. Because if you choose the method number one, this one you kind of need to use the formula uh, cos A minus B, and we will get something like cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. That one is a lot more harder because you need to like do the half angle for sine and half angle for cos. This is the reason why I does not recommend uh, the first method because the second method will be a lot easier and faster. Anyways, I hope you can learn something from this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.